Okay, um, hello. In this video, we'll be um, finishing up homework three, um, part two. Um, we already recorded part one in which we derived the equations and necessary calculations we need for um, this homework. So in this case, um, we are going to need to figure out the final temperature and total volume of the container so that 0.3 moles of water are in the vapor phase. And the constraints being that the atmosphere is filled with one kilogram of water, the contents at 298 Kelvin in one bar, uh, initial pressure, and then the container is then sealed and then heated, and the final pressure will be two bar. So um, to first to complete this, we will start, um, we already have our import set up. Um, for the um, this top box right here, we have our um, um, just website URL for the GitHub site, and this will include all the data we need um, to get the um, correct numbers and calculations for us, and that can be shown here. Um, all the data is stored in this um, file right here, and um, a bunch of other useful things that Carlos has provided for us. And then we also need to install our dot map dictionary. This will um, um, this will control our variables and that we need to retrieve and iterate through our calculations. This makes it a lot more easier. And then we have our import for our system, and this is um, import the path to the actual file on um, the Prof Teach Kids CHE2064. Um, all the content we need for that. And then we have our dot map um, import right here, and then our JAX and LP imports as usual. And then we also have this uh, tools.tree array transform, which um, Carlos has provided for us, as well as the import VSC, which will um, solve our calculations for us, and then the um, comp and, uh, and, they, and then also the range import, which will be used. And then we also have our tools import CHE as CHE, um, which will also be helped for this um, GitHub site. So first, we'll just need we'll just go ahead and define our R, and we know that this is 8.314, and we can just include the units. Um, we know that the units are joules per moles times Kelvin, so we can just we can just write those in. Not necessary, but just in case anybody um, reading this doesn't um, have as much knowledge about this stuff, um, it'll make it a little bit more useful for them. So we can go ahead and um, shift enter that. Go ahead and shift into that, and then what we need to do next is actually get to the um, make a variable in order to get to the um, CHE web um, GitHub site. So we'll call this p dot um, CHE dot props, and then the um, data that we need is we could include you know, water, oxygen, argon, so forth, nitrogen. But all we really need for this for our calculations now is water. So we're just going to go ahead and just press click water and that will be enough for us so shift enter that makes it a little bit more simple and then now we'll need to set up our variables and which we'll be using for calculations in the um, C dot map and these will be stored um, for us so we'll just do C and then we C equals dot map and then our first variable our we first need our total mass of water which we know from the homework description that I showed at the beginning of the video is um, one kilogram of water so we'll go one and then we know that just we'll do one dot and we know that's in kilograms so we'll just go ahead and write kilograms for anybody that's watching this that um, may need further specification although you are probably going to be the only one watching this um, and then we have our initial temperature which we were told is going to be 298 and we know that this will be in um, kelvin so we can just put that or we don't need to write kelvin we can just go ahead and put k and then we have our initial pressure we'll call that pi and we know that this is set at one bar and we need to make this into pascal so one bar is one times ten to the fifth pascal so one e5 um go ahead and just write the units just in case and then we need our final pressure after um, the system is sealed and then heated which will be um, pf we'll call that our final pressure and we know that it's two bars so do two times ten to the fifth and then we um, now need our moles total moles of water final moles of water so we can just go ahead and call this NWF or yeah, NWF and we know that this um, was specified to be 0.3 and we, we know that that unit is moles 
so we'll go ahead and just write moles just in case and then now we do not have a specified volume um, but we can go ahead and just create a range of volumes um, that would work for this calculation so we do our range and this will be this is what we imported our range up here for um, is to create these so we can just make our um, first value just we'll go ahead and just make it uh, zero point zero one five and then low value we know it has to be above zero so we'll go ahead and just write zero there and then our last of all um, value we can just make uh, 0 0.05 I guess and then enter and then we also are going to need a range for our temperatures to calculate through so we'll set up another range and this will be we can just make 350 our middle um, low we can just go ahead 300 I guess because we know it has to be above 298 because it is heated from um, 298 and then our high value can just uh, 500 I guess would work um, so we'll go ahead and enter there and then now we need to um, set up the first calculation which we're going to show um, for our volume of water our initial volume of water and we know that density is um, mass over volume so in that case our volume should be um, mass over density so to do that, we'll just call our next variable um, volume of water initial c dot of volume water initial, and then we'll just do um, we need our mass of water, so we have c dot our um, mass of water, which we um, specified right here, one kilogram, and then we have our um, density, uh, which actually was calculated from the CHE props um, variable, and we know that. Um, this will be our um, RHOL, our liquid density um, calculation, which Carl set up, set, has set up for us. And then um, that's specified at the temperature. So we write C dot initial temperature. So always write C dot TI. And then we can just go ahead and shift enter that and move on. Um, the second one, the second dot map we will need um, is the ones we need, the R dot map in which we'll set up for our um, calculations and this is what the VSC will actually be solving so we will um, go ahead and set up our next dot map we'll put open parentheses and then we need to make a model um, that will calculate um, perform our calculations so we'll go ahead and uh, write a function um, DEF and we'll just call this model model sys model of our system so and then we know that the parameters of this will have to be the dot map parameters C and R so we'll do CR, and then we need a colon for um, function syntax. And then our first equation, we have our, um, we, are cal we need to calculate the um, pressure of water in the vapor phase. And from our first video, we know that we can just call this PWVAP. And then we know from the, um, in the first video we calculated, this was just um, from, taken from the GitHub side as well. So we just P.PVAP and uh, specified at temperature so um, that will be good and then for our next one we are going to need the um, vapor um, vapor volume uh, which is just VVAP we'll call it that and this will be our our vapor volume will be our total volume V total and we know that um, our V total will be the volume of the um, in the vapor phase and the liquid phase so we need just the volume in the vapor phase we need to subtract um, our volume in the uh, liquid phase which is our um, V water initial right here so we're going to need to subtract that from our total volume so we'll do C dot V water and then we'll V water I and then that will be good for that equation so we can press enter and then now we need our moles equation so our first one we need our moles of air so we'll call that n underscore air, and then we know that from the first video, um, as I said before, that is the initial pressure, um, and that will be the initial pressure times um, the volume in the vapor phase, so v that. And we know that this needs to be divided from Anton. We need we need we know that this is divided by our R constant, gas constant, which we defined um, 8.314 in the beginning, R constant times the initial temperature, so Ti. And then now we need our um, 
moles water vapor phase. So we'll call this R dot uh, moles, and then we'll call that water and vapor phase. So we'll just VW. And this will be equal to R dot, um, our pressure of um, water in the vapor phase, so PWVAP. And then this will be times our um, volume of vapor phase, so VVAP. And that will also be divided by our R constant times um, the um, temperature, the temperature range that we have defined um, right here in our C dot map, so C dot T. Okay, and what we need to do next is um, set up our last equation for total pressure, and that will be R dot P. And this we know is equal, will be equal to our moles of air, so N underscore air, um, times our R constant, capital R, and times our um, temperature, so C dot T, temperature range. And then we know that this will be need to be divided by um, our volume vapor phase R dot V VAP, and this will be added to our um, pressure water in the vapor phase. So PW. Um, oh, I forgot to put R R dot um, PW um, VAP. And let's make sure we have all of our C dots and R dots. Yep, looks like it. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is set up two constraints um, in which we'll calculate our um, stored variables in our dot maps, and this will make it much just much more efficient to go through these calculations. So our first constraint will be our pressure constraint. We'll call this press underscore constraint. Uh, did I spell constraint right? Yep, press underscore constraint. And we know that the constraints for this will be our um, final pressure as well as our total pressure um, calculation. So PF, and then we have our total pressure will be R dot P. So that will be good for our pressure constraints. And then for our next constraint, we need our moles um, constraints. So N underscore constraint, N stands for moles in the PV and RT equation. And we know that this is, R dot um, the moles in the the moles of water in the vapor phase so n underscore um, vw is what I called it and then we have our um, our total final moles which we specified in our c dot map as um, 0.3 right here so we have c dot nwf nwf right there and then we just need to return go ahead and return these um, two constraints. So do return pressure constraint and return the mold constraint and that should be good. So now we can go ahead and shift enter that. And what we're going to do next is actually solve these equations that we just um, set up. It's a pretty um, long set of um, equations that we set up, but the VSC will make this a lot more easy um, as we have it imported right up there. So what we need to do is just set up our variable, we'll just call it VSC to make it much more simple, and then capital VSC, and then we have our C, and then we have our model, which we called up here, we called it uh, model sys, or model system, so we'll just type in model sys, and then enter that. And then we just do our vsc.solve. And then this should actually solve the um, equations that we set up for us. Let it run for a second. Yep, so it iterated through the values, the ranges and values that we typed in. And this is. Um, these are the values it gave us. So now to obtain the values that we want, um, we'll first just do our vsc.rdf. Oh, I need to make sure I'm clicked on there. vsc.rdf. And this will give us our, um, per se, our like intermediate values, I guess. Um, the values we obtained before our final values. Um, so we'll go ahead and shift enter those. And this gives us our pressure of water in the vapor phase volume vapor phase and then our moles of air 
as well as our moles and vapor phase and then total pressure. And then to calculate our final values, which are our, our final temperature and our total volume of the container, we just need to do a VSC dot um, VDF and that should give us our um, final value. So we'll do VSC dot VDF and then we'll shift enter. And this will give us our final temperature, 265 or 365.7 Kelvin, and our total volume um, of the container, and when 0.3 moles of water are present. And that would be this value right here. So thank you for watching, and have a good day.